So I just got done posting an Anthem video and one of the community managers of Anthem posted some brand new updates about the future of the game, fixes and so on and so forth. So we're going to check that out right now. Hey everyone, what's up? Open World Games here and let's do this. It is a double upload day again. Can't believe it. So we're going to be wrecking these fools with our Interceptor right now. But let's get straight into the update and not waste any more time. So... Let's do this. So this is what Jesse has to say here. He's community manager of Anthem. He says, before this uh, the weekend hits, I wanted to give you a quick update to the Anthem game community. The team is still working on the next big update, including new content that we announced on the roadmap. Furthermore, says the following, we're also working on a smaller update to fix some recent issues, including Elysian Cash is not showing the rewards you got right away. Loot dropping for javelins that you aren't currently using. The news feed not showing up properly. So that's why the news feed has not been working. It's a bug. I also saw some comments from some of the Bioware devs out on Reddit about that one. Uh, but yeah, the Elysian chest thing is also a pain. I've heard that restarting your game could actually help get your items. That's what I've heard. Let me know if you guys have had any other workarounds as well. But he furthermore says this. I'm also working on the next live stream which may be delayed a bit off uh, the two-week cadence we've been going with. I really want uh, to show everyone the new content we're working on, but I also want to make sure it's ready to present. So they're going to be showing off some brand new content to us in the next live stream. Let's cross our fingers that this is going to be the brand new Stronghold, the Sunken. That would be really cool. That's the one I'm excited for, of course. April, I'm hoping April is a very big month again. For Anthem, it really needs to be, you know, the Elysian chests were such a disappointment. All right, so next up, he says this. Lastly, we're still working to address a lot of the reports we've been getting on players not being able to complete challenges, missing percentages on items, visual bug, and more. Stay tuned for more updates next week. So, also, if you did not hear and you missed it, they added some new shop items to the shop. They include some new armor sets. So, a lot of people are like, where is all the armor? Then some armor sets did leak, so I uh, would think that those would be coming out early April. So a wide variety of armor coming up here. Hopefully they just release back-to-back -back armor sets throughout April. That would be wonderful because we are desperately needing new armor in this game for sure. As for those vanity chests, of course, you know, they're dropping decals and stuff like that. But please, just get rid of the decals. Give us proper full wraps, full vinyls going forward. Now also there were some other updates here about... Uh, you know, picking up the wrong, you know, type of components and stuff like that for your javelin. So you'll end up pick up like picking up a Colossus component when you really need something for your current javelin, which may be an Interceptor. So that's been a problem in the game for sure. So this is what Jeff goes on to say. He says, what about legendary components for the wrong class? I'm at 200 hours played. Two of the classes I play have more legendary components than the one I do play. It's awful. I need armor and shields on my main in order to progress. And here's the reply from Bryn Holmes of Bioware just this. That's also a bug. We're still looking at that one. The crappy part about that bug is that it only seems to reproduce at scale. So we've been trying to tackle this one from a few different angles to try to identify exactly what the problem is. Uh, what a pain. Honestly, I haven't had this bug that often like i don't think i've really ever really had this bug too often let me know if you guys have uh had this issue uh as well um uh, because it seems like it is something that does happen to a lot of you guys so let me know uh now it goes on uh now this is what uh Revan Chi says he says huh that's interesting so if i understand from other posts correctly you have a simulator that drops items i'm guessing for an individual or does it simulate a team and you track that to make sure the percentages are where you want them as uh, uh, as the correct type. Then you also have live metrics telling you in broad terms how closely for the entire population those numbers are matching up. So even with those tools, the bug, which my friend and I have experienced uh, through my girlfriend, has not can only be reproduced at scale. Uh, so it also says, I actually find that kind of cool. I know you're busy, but... Have there been uh, similar bugs you found in the general terms? Do you know why the tools finding them didn't work? And you need to rely on reports on a massive scale to track them down. And this is where it gets really interesting. So, Brandon Holmes replied, saying that's pretty much it, yes. When we're uh, doing simple tests, we generally 
just use a dedicated server running on a local computer, which is fairly different from a Linux VM running on a cloud platform. Beyond that, the environment and how some of the online services run are slightly different as well, internal versus external. Generally, issues at scale have to do with load. So one person hitting, hitting one server doesn't demonstrate a problem, but a million people hitting tens of thousands of servers does. That is so weird to me considering that there's multiple servers in this game. And of course they do rotate the free play servers, but somehow in some way, it sounds like almost like they're interacting with one another, these servers as an entire whole. So that's definitely an interesting thing for sure. Uh, now, a lot of you did notice that the flight time fe feels a little bit weird after update 104. So this was actually posted out there by uh, Matteo619 who says this is there any info on flight times being shorter uh, and he goes on to say I know there's less rain but shouldn't the flight time with no rain after the patch feel similar to what it was raining pre patch and the response was from Brynn who says this we're looking into it now flight duration was numerically uh, numerically excuse me increased by about 25% doing vanilla before or after test this seems to be working correctly we're investigating if it's an issue with some of the flight boosting stats beyond that it could also be due to the long bout of rainy weather we've had since that reduces heat buildup by around 35% so let me know if you guys uh, notice anything wonky with the flight stuff but there's some interesting details about how the weather system really works here and this is really cool and I've also heard that they uh, plan to possibly add a forecast system uh, to the menus potentially you know it's something they said about we're looking into it and that's all they said uh, but this is what octa01 says thanks for coming into the sub to answer questions brennan does this confirm the constant rain was unintended there are significant contingent of the fans myself included that thought the bad weather was a build-up to a special event and new stronghold cataclysm story now i feel silly yeah it would be so cool I thought for sure they would start doing a lot more of that, and hopefully that starts happening with the uh, Cataclysm in May. So this is what Brendan had to say about this. He says, not intended. It was just part of the weather forecast. There's a background simulation layer for weather that determines what the weather will be for the next while. I'm not at work yet, but I could do look, uh, could look and tell you what the weather would be like this weekend, for example. So they actually have like an actual forecast planned for the entire weather system, which I thought was so cool. So hopefully they end up doing more with this. You know, we need more done with this sort of thing, uh, like uh, full-blown types of like tornadic storms and uh, all sorts of craziness. So uh, hopefully they actually get to that again with that cataclysm, which will be coming up here in May. But now it's time to go over your top comments. So let's do this. So the first top comment comes from... Vintage V8 Muscle, who says this, The store loot is scarce, and the lame items are recycled a lot so far, so they can't even do this right. So a lot of, yeah, it's true that, you know, they have been recycling a lot of items, but they did introduce the brand new shop items today. Uh, but, of course, they're going to have to do Encore stuff because they have to, just in case if you missed it. But the fact is, they just don't have enough in terms of armor sets for everyone and again i would really prefer if the armor sets and the vinyls were in the open world where you're collecting them and hoping that a really cool drop would happen so it'd be nice if they could create something like sparse armor sets uh anything where they're actually in the open world so hopefully they can get to doing that but uh next up we have the following leonard petty says this the legendary gear you get on pre-order still is the best looking gear to me yeah even with the new armor set they were cool right but they weren't like to me uh the absolute best let's actually flip over to them right now so uh, this one's actually really cool though for the um colossus here this is my favorite really fits the colossus i love the spikes sticking up everywhere and uh, also the dragon skills that they have on offer are really cool uh but i think that they need some more sleek offerings like the shoulder padded look here is just not something i'm into at all i would definitely choose different arms for this look uh, but the legs look sleek uh, for sure, and I really do like the helmet. But I think they need way more like sleek looking designs that are more javelin specific and appropriate, if you get what I mean. Uh, I know that a lot of you guys also would like to see stuff related to factions like Dominion stuff uh, and uh, maybe even stuff that mirrors the Sentinels, which would actually be really cool to see. But uh, hopefully, uh, they add more, more sleek looking stuff, you know? 
It looks like a Ferrari or something. All right, so next up we have Zerk who says this. Yeah, I was able to not have a pilot error finally, and I have to say I'm super pleased with the game now. All my gripes are gone with the exception to the pilot error. They could still improve the loot system, which I think a simple fix would be making all the loot drop at power levels based upon difficulty. Then we could still use all the loot we get based on inscriptions, masterwork, and legendary weapons. Still do more damage as well. Masterwork doing a bit more damage and legendary doing a lot more damage with maybe a small buff to the effects power, and then actually use the crafting system for what we want. And yes, the new chest needs to be re re reworked, excuse me, by just taking away crafting materials, especially if it's a limited time event. Yeah, considering it's limited time, I mean, I couldn't believe that when I opened up my vanity chest that I got crafting materials, and that's it. I, again, I thought for sure that was going to be uh, coupled with me getting, like, uh, you know, a really cool vinyl or something, but even the decals have been just terrible. <laughs> But uh, guys, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned here to Open World Games for more Anthem news and updates. And of course, you guessed it, Open World Gaming goodness. Thank you guys for the love and support on the videos. And I will see you next time. Take care.